This is Dapu7. want to share with you here some very interesting footage that was sent in my way from Israel. And this is going to check out to be fake. But if we're going to say it's fake, we're going to have to have proof. It's easy to say that something is just CGI. Well, let's have the proof. We have some experts out here like Finding UFO and other channels that tear into this with their programs that look for overlays, that look for things of that nature. I've sent this to them. Thus far, I have not heard any feedback saying that anyone's discovered anything fake in the footage, which is one hurdle, because then we can go and say, okay, this thing was in the sky, but what was it? Are we dealing with Project Bluebeam? I find it interesting that these guys show themselves in the footage. They put their names out there and everything. It looks legitimate, like they were reading scripture, and they caught this thing out the window. And his exact words to me was, is this Apollo riding a horse or something? And it really startled them. And then they went, and they, they went for a phone and everything else. And I'm going to share with you the footage so you guys can see exactly what unfolded here. We back it up just a hair here to where he is reading their scripture, and I'll run, run it from there. קופף, תקל שם, שב, 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 הנה הוא שם. שב, כן. אני רוצה לך לקחת נקודה של איך זה מתחיל ועוד 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 נעלמת? נעלם? מה? בוא'נה! בוא'נה, יש פה אב"ם, דורון! אה? אתה לא מתלהב מאב"ם? And notice there how it's blurring out, as it should, if it was legitimate. And these are the screenshot stills that were sent in the email as well. Once again, I've never been sent anything like this. If this is a hoax, this is an elaborate one that someone went out of their way to pull off, to send to me, to try to fool people. But if it is, I hate to tell them, we're, we're going to pick it apart because Finding UFO and others, they'll look at the frames and they'll at least be able to see if there's been any manipulation. From there, we can say, okay, there's an object in the sky that's for real. What is it? What is it is the question. Is it some kind of technology? Is it Project Bluebeam? I mean, there's a lot of questions. But before you just go saying, oh, it's CGI and writing it off, let's try to get some damn proof. 
You know, if someone can respectfully do a video that has evidence uh, in response to this showing um, anything, it would be appreciated. But anyone coming with negativity, um, you usually don't hear people or what they're trying to say when they come cussing at you. That's the only thing that you remember. So <laughs> this is a crazy one. Um, I'm sure people are going to be scratching their head on this. I just showed you the footage. Once again, this is above Israel. This is the skies above Israel taken on the 12th by Abraham Mutala. I mean, they showed themselves right there in the footage. He's got his name plastered on this. These don't look to be guys that have ever posted stuff like this before. It looks to be like a once-in-a-lifetime type of deal that they just caught while they were reading Scripture. And if it is CGI, and they did an elaborate job of trying to string it together, and we find out, well, then we'll know. And it, it will be thanks to you guys. That's why we do these videos. I could either sit on it and never show the world, or, and what if it is real? You know, so we got to get it out there, let people use discernment, pick it apart. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of talk and wondering what this is. And like I said, I will update if we get any concrete proof or evidence showing one way or another uh, what this object is in the sky. But as of right now, it's a mystery. And like I said, I've never had anyone send something like this into me, you know, exposing themselves, their name, everything else attached to it if it was to be fraudulent. Um, and from my eye is seeing hundreds of different UFO clips and everything else, the way that it pans in and out, it fades, it catches the window, it gets fuzzy and they're trying to lock in on it. It has characteristics to where it could be real, but there's some slick cats out, out there with CGI. The problem with CGI is this, if they overlaid anything on the original footage, they tampered it with anything and there's any, any cuts, anyone with a good eye is going to see that they're going to find it. They can invert the image. And they can see if there's any any fading or any shading around the object. If it looks like it's been patched in, they'll see those things. And then there's a story in itself. We can do an update showing exactly how it was done, um, where they found the flaws, how they exposed that it was fake, so on and so forth. But until we have that evidence, you can't just go saying, oh, it's this or that. And I know if it comes down to a Project Blue Beam or something like that, it's going to be hard to have evidence to show proof of that. One thing's for sure, I've never had anyone send anything like this into me, leaving everyone scratching their head. And by all accounts, they're saying it's 100% legitimate. They put their name on it, their face on it, and they still don't know. In their comments, he's like, I don't know what this is. Is this the son of Zeus? Is this Apollo riding a horse? That was his response to me. So I don't have the answer to that question at the moment. All I can say is this, some of the top guys out there that I know, Finding UFO, UFO Opni, others, they've got this footage, and they find any discrepancies, I'll let you guys know for sure. But don't want to say it's fake or rule it out just because it's crazy looking. It could be real, really in the sky. And it's up to anyone's guess as to what it really could be. But with the Mossad, their technology, every single thing else that's going on, this could be an illusion through Project Blue Beam in the sky, a reflective projection on the sky, or this could be a real metallic figure picking up the sun and shining right there in the sky. It's what caught their eye, they said. So, And you could see it right there in the footage. I haven't found any discrepancies thus far as far as what they're saying in the footage and everything else. So you never know what's out there, what they're doing. And in these days and times, it really feels like the stage is set out there. So you have to be keen to what's happening here. And I just wanted to share this with folks and let it be known that, uh, hey, a couple of guys at least witnessed this over Israel. If you guys are seeing anything like this out there at all, let me know. Dabu7. Yahoo.com. I'll do my best to tear into it and to get it out there and let people see what's happening. You know, it's going to be a waste of time for sending fake stuff because if this checks out to be fake, these guys are going to be known as fakes and ruin their name and all that other stuff. That's why I find it hard to believe here the way they went about all this, just sending it to me and how open everything is. Um, it really looks to be a 
pretty interesting event that took place over Israel, of all places, over Israel. And remember, there's a lot of things going on there that Obama just tried to put in place before he left, and now Trump's saying he's going to move the embassy to, to Jerusalem and all this other stuff. He leaves you scratching your head saying, what is it? And I promise I'll update with more. And a shout out to everyone out there that plays their part. Anyone that does have any extra information, anything new, anything to add to this. Thank you all for, for playing your part, fighting the good fight. Till next time, this has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies. And make sure you got your camera. Much love, y'all.